We're here at the Order Boot Camp um, as part of the training for MEO that all the players are going through to help us with the the highest chance of winning, I guess, at the end of all this. So hopefully it uh, works. I guess we'll know in a couple of days, but that's the idea. Feeling pretty good about the weekend. I mean, it's been a troubling season somewhat for us, but we start slow, like as is standard for us. But we've come together and you know worked on the new meta and we feel pretty comfortable. But there's, I'm going through with no expectations because you don't want to get a set the bar too high or too low respectively, so just give it our all. Our team is just more confident than theirs as they have like more people going to their first lands and they haven't played on stages with like a lot of people before. Everyone on the team here played at MEO last year um, and we all played in China as well, so I think we have a small advantage when it comes to that. If I was to say why we're going to win, I guess it's just the players are just really good. And I mean, it's no no dis, disheartening part of mine. Their players are also very good. You know, they're, they're the second best team in Oz by no stretch of the imagination. But I guess it's just going to be. I can't even imagine being those players. You're in front of a crowd of like however many thousands are going to show up on the weekend. That's daunting. I feel like for this land compared to the previous lands, it's less nerve-wracking for some reason. Not sure why, but I think it's mostly because it's just one game instead of preparing ourselves for both semi and finals. It's just like that difference of these guys have all been here before and mind freak, they're, they're really good players, yeah sure, but have they, do they have that confidence to just play their own game in front of that crowd? If I win this one, there'll be another record, another streak in wins, like I did last time with Drop Bears, so winning again with Order would just be another first place final to add to the collection. Twelve thousand fans and competitors have gathered for one of Australia's biggest sports events and there wasn't a football in sight. Professional video gamers at the Melbourne Esports Open are competing for game fame. I'd say that money. we're probably still the underdogs going into this series. Mindfreak are a pretty strong team at the moment. But at the same time, they have a lot of people who might not cope very well with the stage pressure. And I don't think that that's going to be a big issue for us. Getting onto stage and having that energy is like a really positive thing for our team. And hopefully at the end of the day, we're rewarded for our hard work. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stunning Rod Laver Arena. This is the Overwatch Contenders Australia Season 2 Grand Final. Smash a pretty average regular season for order. What would you put that down to? I think coming home from China after the Pacific Showdown, they started off a little bit slow. Maybe they were playing the old meta a bit too much, but now they've kind of developed with the time that they've had to practice. I think they're going to be strong today, and I don't see why this game could go all seven. You had a bit of a mixed season. There was a couple of ups and downs here and there, but you've made it to the grand finals, and really that's all that matters. I mean, if you look back, is there anything from the season or anything you know that got you here you're thinking about a lot? Not really thinking too much about the regular season anymore. All that matters to me is that we're here now. Victory at IEM Sydney just a few months ago. The pressure is on. We head to Nepal. Elfish guy. Let's get into it. Now on Mind Freak G, they are out of luck. They've thrown everything out of it. And Order is going to go and look to pick up this fight. A supercharger going to be available for Quads. Not only that, but a sound barrier down from Unter. And counter engage from Order. It's looking good. And they might well finish things off here on the first point of the pool. What a first round, what a statement from Order on the grand stage. Yeah, Mind Freak can do. This one is going to go across to Order. Bus desperately trying his best there to continue the overtime running, but we all knew what was going to happen. Order take out the first map. The pool looks like no issues for them. Don't Mind Freak going to be able to do this? I'm not so sure. Ben Jordation trying his best, and the freeze! Right on top of the Death Blossom again, and the most inopportune time for Mind Freak, they falter. Oh dear, there comes the Wrecking Ball as well, that will make it tougher. Mind Freak G pick up just one point objective. I don't know what the deal with this bell is, I think this That's is the order order up to order. Right. Yeah, those spawns are going to be coming in very slowly now for order. They are going to be on a hero disadvantage. Yuki! Yuki coming through, that's incredible on the tracer. Surely Order can't turn this one around. One by one, Mind Freak going to get onto the payload, but it does not have far to go. Oh my goodness, Order make it three and nil. Ultimates used left, right and 
Centaur, but it's going to be Order coming out on top. Mind Freak G go down, now up to 99%. We head into overtime. Kiki on the point. Kiki goes down also. This one going to go the way of Order. 1-0 up, looking for one more, and that'll give them the win. It's a rough way to lose for Mind Freak. They had it all on the platter there for them, but once again, at the 11th hour, Order pips into the pose, they're able to get the win. Again, trading Where's one Kiki? for one. Arta comes through onto Kiki, however, oh. looking to catch the effect. Oh, oh, welcome, welcome! Oh. He's keeping it alive right now, he's doing his best, but he's the only player on the point for Mind Freak Buster. Just managed to get back there to keep it in the favour of MF, but unfortunately it seems for Mind Freak that Order have the advantage here. They'll need to do some real work to get back into this one as fast as blown up in air. Oh no, the self-destruct's going to come through as well. We'll find Kiki. Kiki blown off the point. You can see Mind Freak with not very many players left. They are one by one going to try and make their way onto the now. point. The capture goes across. Order on the point. Order are your Overwatch contenders Australia. Season 2 champions back to back. Well, they say Dynasty's rise and fall once again at Melbourne Esports Open in the Rod Labor Arena. We will see another Dynasty be born. This time, it is orders. Ladies and gentlemen, put it together for the 2019 Overwatch Contenders Season 2 Champions, Order! Bring it in, man. That was some finish. You've gone back to back. I mean, is this the start of a dynasty? Are you already in the dynasty? What, what even is a dynasty? I don't even know. How are you feeling? Uh, just happy to be here, you know? Like, we just played our game. Like, we came in, no expectations. We just said, we're going to play our game, and we'll just see how we go. And it went pretty damn well, to be honest. You went into this confident, naturally, but, you know, it was a few times there where things got a bit shaky, but you bounced back every time. How do you keep doing it? I, mean, I think at the end of the day, we knew we were the better team, so no concern with losing a few fights. We won every map. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's all right. They won. Yeah, 4 0, no less. <laughs> no, congratulations again, boys. Once more, Rod Laver Arena, give it up for your 2019 champions. Order! We just came off stage after. Pretty long match, but a pretty solid victory, 4-0. Well, technically it was like five maps, but since we drew it, it doesn't really count, so. And we came out with a pretty strong, honestly, dominant display today. We didn't think it would be, you know, like the way it did, and we just absolutely rolled them, to be honest. It feels really good to win twice in a row. I mean, that's, we've won all the competition for the whole year now. Mind Freak very clearly weren't performing super well on stage and I think we played fantastic on stage, so a bit of both. Both teams put in a lot of hard work in the lead-in, but on the day we showed up a lot, a lot stronger than they did. Mind Freak today didn't really do anything we weren't prepared for. They played a lot of standard stuff and I think we just played it better and we played things that were good into it, like the Symmetra we played today, which is pretty unconventional, but it works well into the Reaper mirror and they played a lot of the Reaper, so we ended up winning off that a lot. I think. The dominant result was largely, in fact, to the fact that we are just you know, stronger psychologically as a team, more experience, especially on LAN. You know, the game is completely different. You know, you can hear the crowd sometimes coming through the microphones, things like that. Sometimes you can't hear game sounds, any things like that. All the setups not the same as at home. You know, whereas all of our players on our team, you know, have gone to LAN four or five times. So you know, we're used to these kinds of setups. It's just another day for us, pretty much. And uh, yeah, I think that was a really big reason. I don't think. They were really behind on us strategically or necessarily that much on indi uh, player skill. Uh, it was really just uh, the psychological thing was a huge thing I think for us for sure. I'm thrilled for them. Um, didn't know if they could do it and it's been a long season but really happy with the result. Uh, it feels great to actually go back to back, you know, after going back to back to back to back second places for so long and then getting the first but getting two firsts in a row now it actually, it feels uh, like, you know, I'm just being more consistent and especially our team is just consistent you know consistent performance right is you know what you want to strive for with 
team and uh, we showed that today. Out of everyone honestly, I mean Adam played out of his mind but ev everyone played fantastically and everyone put in the work leading into the event so couldn't be happy with everyone. People don't see the work that goes on in the background because it is the six nights a week and um, really limits what else you can do particularly when you're at school. Um, so even down here this week in boot camp he's been trying to do assignments and get a bit of study done um, to balance things out when he goes back this week. Um, so yeah, it, it's hard but doable. Now what's, what's next I guess, uh, there's a huge break between now and the next contender season so I'll uh, probably dabble with a couple of other games, you know, maybe actually spend some time with family and friends for once. It's been a, a long, gruelling six months where I've you know, been just essentially doing almost nothing but Overwatch, so I'm looking forward to doing a lot more and uh, then you know, eventually weaning my way back into you know, the grind. Excellent. All right. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Congratulations. Thank you.